royalty hey i'm first hey i'm princess how are y'all doing today this video is going to be for aries the moon rising venus and the north node if you are new here welcome thank you so much for joining me on my channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe y'all and i'm wishing y'all a happy happy november happy blessed protected and divinely guided by father god and i just want to say i thank you and i love you guys thank you for all the support thank you let's begin first things first i only have one youtube page one instagram page don't get scammed so i only book a personal reading with me using my website which will be listed down below in the description box okay this is going to be for aries summer rising venus and north Hill. angels ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What does Aries need to know? Aries, wow. You're gifted. You have the high priestess, so you hold hidden knowledge, okay? People think that they could get over on you at this time and... Mm -mm. You're giving off an energy. There could be, okay, I'm picking up on people that are trying to test your, your empathic gifts, your intuition. Like, are you listening to your intuition? Because people may know that you could be a reader. You could be very spiritually gifted, very spiritually inclined, very close to Father God, very, like, in tune with your religious beliefs or your spiritual beliefs. Or, you know, you really um, give praise to your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides. And it gives you, like, deeper knowledge like i could be speaking to a divine being that really likes to study the universe study you know the cosmos study you know knowledge that other people may consider you know may not be interested in <laughs> but you are okay and that's what's putting you at a place of of power knowledge is power okay i'm speaking to someone that is very very in tune it's like you know exactly what's going on the number two could be significant someone could be born in february or on the second or on the seventh okay with the number seven being here someone could also have been born in um, july or on the 27th oh yeah we have here cancer energy is here you could be connecting to a Cancer Aries. Yeah, okay. So it's something about, for some of you guys, there's some type of energy around you that could be um, really trying to put you on your emotions. Okay, Cancer energies. Oh, this could be a mother. For some of you guys, this person could be a mother figure. Okay, or they could give off mother mother type energy, nurturing energy. Okay, but this is someone here that could like be, mm -mm. for some of you guys, you could have a, child with an individual and this person you guys don't share like the same vision there's an individual around you that is like really giving off like dark dark masculine or dark feminine energy like they're really in their yeah three to one as i said this like they're not really in their their higher vibrational self and it's something about this person wanting to be neutral and y'all know how i feel about neutral energy either you are rocking with father god or you are rocking with the other side down below this is someone that you know they they like to be neutral okay they want to walk like that in between line they don't want to be good or bad they like they'll they'll do bad things and then go try to pray it off or act like you know do do something like um like give to the the needy or give to the homeless to try to like clear up you know something that they did that was very bad against someone or or a situation this is a uh an individual that's in your energy that y'all may not need to connect to or that doesn't align with you it's also something about you guys being single being independent really embracing your home i'm seeing it could be also something about beautiful plants or photos or paintings in your home yeah it's, it's a judgment call that's needed Okay, <clears throat> something didn't want me to say this. Yeah, look at the world card. Ooh. Look at the world card, y'all. <laughs> this is like a completion, an ending, a final chapter, a wrap up. Okay, this is a, a, a you entering a new a new chapter of your life, 
where it's rewards. It's going to be blessings, brand new experience, and brand new lessons. Aquarius, energy, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo is here. Heavy Scorpio here with the judgment. The number 20 could be significant. And something about you guys calling judgment, making a final judgment call, making a final decision. Okay, you also hearing Father God. It could also be people from your past. This could be an individual or there could be someone from your past that could be wanting to come back towards you or call you or try to reach out to you. But it's something about you needing to learn the lessons and you needing to really tap back into those you know <clears throat> excuse me ooh, that energy or you know whatever happened in the past really remembering it remembering the experiences and remembering what god pulled you out of with judgment because you have favor coming in you're getting ready to be crowned somebody here needs to clear their throat chakra there's things that need to be said that someone doesn't want like to be said <laughs> or to be spoken or to come out what does aries need to know about november Hello, it's coming towards them in November. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Spirit guides. Judgment again, y'all. Like, literally. <laughs> Woo, heavy Scorpio energy. So, yeah, this is definitely you guys listening to Up Above. This is an awakening. Okay, this is a transformation. This is a major change. This is a brand new start with judgment being here twice. Like, yeah, y'all are very, I'm speaking to someone that's chosen. This is, this is like chosen energy. I want you to know that. Yeah. <laughs> someone here is very, very like, woo. Yeah, you're calling things towards you. And it's like, I don't even know if you know that God is about to overflow like things in your life. Like you, you may be like a little shocked about what's coming towards you okay but i see you, you waiting on newness like with the three of wands you know that new opportunities you knew that new things is coming towards you aries this is your energy yeah with the lovers it's, it's the father god it's like father god is about to show out for you <laughs> leo energy is here this is the happiest card in tarot this is illumination. This is clarity. This is wisdom. This is restoration. This is healing. Okay. I'm also seeing here with the lover's card being here. It's something about you coming into union with a very close, like, soulmate. You're, you're going to have a deep bond with an individual. With the lovers, it could be a Gemini that you're getting ready to come in contact with. It doesn't have to be. Okay, this could just be someone that is, you know, they're coming across as an individual that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and it's going to be a very peaceful, loving connection. You guys are going to be really like intertwined with one another, like really loving each other's energy. Really, yeah. There's also a choice, some type of decision that may need to be made by you, Aries, okay? You could be connecting to one individual at this time, or you could be in a connection with one individual at this time and needing to make a decision on another individual or another connection that could have came towards you. It's choices. The lovers is all about choices, okay? It's also all about, like, what do you want? You also have here the Eight of Wands being here. Yeah, I mean, sorry, the Eight of Swords. Somebody here is like really mentally conflicted. They're really stressed out there in their head. They're not being able to see their way out of a situation or they're not being able to see like how to get to a resolve with this Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is really like, ooh, they're going through it. Who's What's the Eight of Swords? Wow. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. Okay, so it, yeah, wow, yeah. Okay, this is an individual that betrayed you in the past. You got some type of truth and clarity about them, and it's like you could have chosen yourself. Someone here was looking at you as like a, a very financially abundant, very financially stable with the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. You take good care of yourself. You're a nurturer. You're a provider. You're someone here that is very resourceful. Okay, it's like you're you're not one to let your bills get behind. You are very much <clears throat> ahead with your finances. Someone here, they have things that they want to say, but they don't want to say it. Like with the with the throat chakra, like with the ace of swords coming out too, like this is the truth. You got some type of truth and clarity or somebody here has realized the truth about who you are. You are a wife or a husband. <clears throat> and there's something about this person like betraying you, really backstabbing you, really like putting swords in your back and you like needing to make a decision. You made a final, like a choice. A judgment call. God gave you the truth and clarity to speak out, you know, to see past some type of illusion or some type of situation that could have kept you really trapped in your head, but something needed to come to an end with the Ten of Swords. This could have, like, this could have been a person that constantly, like, 
backstabbed you, betrayed you, and, like, you got to the point where, like, enough is enough. It's like you started focusing on you. Like, yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles, you, yeah, you started making sure, like, your life was, was going to be restored. With everything, it's fine. It's like you started working with your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors. Things started working out for you with the Eight of Pentacles. This is also you pouring your energy and, like, a lot of time into your work, your career. You could even be engulfing your time and energy into your work. Be mindful because you have some people, um, some you have like energies that are interested in you that want to come towards you that could be like really stressed out about how because you're coming across as like you have it all with the queen of pentacles like royal energy like you you don't need or want for anything you may want people in your life but it's not like a it's not a need okay it's like you take care of house home security stability you make sure your foundation is, is good and it's very intimidating with the eight of swords it could be making someone that wants to like connect with you or that sees you as like their next you know, deep connection, it can make this person very stressed out because you're very focused on work and they can be feeling like you have different people that you could be giving to. So it's something about you are just in a very divine energy. Yeah. It, yeah. With the five of cups, it's someone from your past. It could be like, it's like soulmate energies coming back from your past, or this could, this could have happened in the past. I'm seeing here, there could have been someone that wanted to get to know you. And it's like, you could have been like really focused on work. The Eight of Pentacles, like, really focused on your money, really focused on, like, building on your security, and it could have kind of, like, derailed an individual who did want to get to know you, so be mindful of that. That is for someone here or for, um, for some Aries here. So tell me about this Five of Cups. Yeah, so my... Aries. There's someone here that is like they, they want to work with you. Like with the three of pentacles, it could be an earth sign or it could be an Aquarius. With the star card, somebody here sees that you shine very bright with what you do. Whatever you're doing, you are a star. Okay, with, with the star, like you are healing. You're very authentic. You're very genuine. You're very honest. Okay, this is also like God's light shining upon you. Okay, but the but the three of pentacles being here, somebody here wants to work together. They're, it's like they're very upset about how things could have went because they really want to work together with you. Yeah, it's something about you getting at your way with the justice card, things being still working out for you the way that they are. Okay, it's like you have good karma coming in. It's like you are on the good side of karma. You have balance. Somebody here feels like it's, it's meant. Okay, I'm. there's an energy here as well. It could be this Eight of Swords individual that feels like this is their karma for you to be at like a place of financial security, abundance, happiness, and them to be like really stressed out over you. Yeah, because everything is working out for you. Someone here could see this, that you're about to get like your way. You could be manifesting in a very solid, emotionally fulfilling relationship, connection, partnership, and it's coming. It's everything is getting ready to work out for y'all. Sorry, with the Ten of Cups. And the everything is fine card. Everything is working out for you after some type of breakup. It's like God saw what happened. So things are getting ready to be restored for you. You guys could be healing from a breakup or a betrayal. Somebody definitely could have like even put you in a third party with the three of pentacles and the three of swords. It's a lot of threes being here. Yeah, and that ended. Somebody here was really, de they were like really determined to cause an ending in your life. They were playing dirty or there could have been an outside interference that could have like separated you and your person. They were really determined to cause an ending, okay, to a situation, to a relationship, to something that you wanted. And now this person is like really stressed because you're still getting ready to get your like happiness with the Ten of Cups. You're still going to get this. It could have been outside interferences trying to intrude, like trying to intrude on a connection that you were trying to build with somebody and it ended up ending. And it's like, you guys could have ended up moving forward. That was your like fate, your destiny. Something was like meant to happen the way that it was supposed to, because it was, it was meant to bring you forward towards new blessings, towards new beginnings, towards new connections, towards new fulfillment. Okay, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. What's this five of swords? Somebody who was really determined to play dirty. Yeah, they didn't see this. It could have even been an air sign, or this could have been like a, this is a female, they're in their masculine energy, or this could have been a male that was like really determined, like, yeah, to make somebody like look at you and like reject, you know, happiness with you or reject whatever they were feeling in regards to you. You definitely could have been manifesting someone or you guys could have been manifesting a connection with someone but there were people that were like not wanting to see like you guys coming into union i'm seeing here it's something about you still getting your happiness yeah 
Yeah, somebody here wanted to make it very difficult with a ton of wands for you. It was the devil. These people like, yeah, 444, four, four, as I was saying this on my timer, it's something about you guys were, it was like some type of spiritual warfare here. It was a connection that could have been very fulfilling or that somebody here could have even like been acting like they, you want their happiness or you want their wish fulfillment and they were. And it's because they had really dark energies either that were around them, that were influencing them, or they were in a dark energy. They were being manipulated, lied to, betrayed, and they wanted to do this too. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, somebody here is like, they're stuck in a place of confusion right now. They wanted to hold you back because they were confused about like, if you were gonna, yeah, if you were happiness to them and you are with the nine of cups, you're about to get your way. The nine and the 10 of cups is out here. It's something about you having forward movement, the chariot, being able to overcome opposition, being able to move past, you know, any type of BS that's, that was in your path. Yeah, you guys are reflecting and it's like new love is here. New love is coming in. That's just what it is. That's a gift coming from Father God. It's a renewal. This is an overflow. It's like what you guys thought you were going to get is going to be an overflow. It's going to be better. What was coming in is going to be like 1551. As I said, it's going to be better. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.